New fallout for the credit reporting agency Equifax after one of the largest breaches of consumer info in history. There are reports now the credit data giant suffered a smaller unrelated breach back in March, months before discovering hackers targeted the records of 143 million Americans. Investigators are also looking into three senior executives selling company stock. Equifax says those executives had no knowledge of the hack at the time. Let's take it up with our legal panel. Bob Bianchi, a criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor. Eric Guster is a criminal defense attorney. So let's start with you, Bob. Put on your prosecutor's hat. These three guys are in a position to have known about the hack. Uh, they're top executives at the company, and they just happen to sell almost $1.8 million of company shares jointly after that first hack was announced, but or I'm sorry, after it was discovered, but before it became public knowledge. Does that sound like... Um, uh, white collar crime to you? It sounds like a big problem in terms of an investigation. The timeline is very solid here. They were hacked in March. Two months later in May, they're hacked again. They find out about it in July. Two weeks after they find out about it in July, but do not make it public, they then sell to, at least that we know of right now, massive amounts of stock, and then they make it public about a month after that. That is a timeline that prosecutors will look at, and it is next to impossible for any prosecutor to believe that people in such significant executive authority power would not have known about this. And since that time, Eric, the stock's value has dropped something like 35%, so they made a very timely sale. Yeah, it was a very timely sale. They probably said, well, this is a fairy godmother told me to sell my stock, but I didn't know about the breach, which I don't believe. If you believe that, you can sell, I can sell you some shares to the Brooklyn Bridge. What? But what's going to happen in this case, just like Bob said, they're going to look at the timeline. The timeline, to me, is a prima facie case for insider trading. They had to know about this, especially with their level. They weren't some lowly clerks who may not have known about the breach. These were high-level executives, and a breach of over 100 million uh, data breaches, 100 million parts of information, they had to know. There's no way that they did not know. But one of the things that potentially could come up in their defense, and I want to ask you about this, the supposition now is that this was a state actor that actually hacked into them, into their, into these accounts. So a Russia, a North Korea, a China, and Iran. Could they say, look, we're just a little old credit reporting company. We can't take on the Russians. Yeah, well, first of all, they had a computer company back in, in March that had told them that there was a breach. And that computer company is now saying they did nothing to eradicate that, which led to the larger breach. It doesn't make a difference who hacked in. The fact was that they knew that it was hacked in, and they didn't do anything about it. Sold stock, then made it public, which is going to lead to multiple lawsuits for people during that entire period of time. Once again, what were they thinking? Because all these people credit could potentially be affected, which will take them years to resolve if they're the victims of crime and identity theft. Yeah, 143 million accounts. That is, it's staggering in its size and its potential impact. Yeah, and this is going to be one of the largest class action lawsuits in history because it impacts so many people. And they're going to face civil penalties and possible criminal penalties because I don't see how they could get around it with this one. And, when, and when, as Deirdre Bolton from Fox Business pointed out in our first hour, you know, these are not customers of, of the agency. Um, these are people I mean, they, they didn't sign on with Equifax. Maybe they took out a car loan or a home loan or something. Yes, and because Equifax has their information as a result. Equifax has their information. It wasn't something they voluntarily gave, voluntarily gave them. It's not like your neighborhood sporting goods store that you go and type in your information. They have everyone's information stored, whether it, it's your uh, knowledge that they have it or not. And here's the problem with these companies. They should have done brand damage control from the beginning. I don't get it. Get out in front of it. Advise the public so it can protect itself. Don't do insider trading so you can take advantage yeah. of it. And none of this would be happening. It would have just been a mistake. All they right. Better lawyer up. Well, it's, yeah. it's, they're coming. The feds are coming. We'll see if there's a company left after all this. Bob Bianchi, Eric Guster, thank you both. Thank Pleasure. you.